I just finished my wrap. Oh, yeah. Not too bad. Um, the bacon was a little bit fatty. I prefer my bacon to be almost cremated. Mm. I like it well done. Alright. It's alright. Mm. Got my hash brown. Mm. And let me show you my egg muffin. It's literally bursting out of the seams because I've got you can either get extra cheese or extra egg. And I asked for extra egg. Look at that. Oh, do you know what? I have I can't remember the last time I had a McDonald's breakfast. It's gotta be months. I can't honestly remember. Mm. Honestly, remember, I love their breakfast. I love McDonald's breakfast. Love, 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 and their coffee. Mm. Love it. Oh. Mm. And a certain somebody, as I turn you around, is still fast asleep on my pillow. You see? Yeah, he's turned his back to us. Mm. He's happy, bless him. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So I've just ordered myself a McDonald's. I've got got myself a large latte. Mm. One hash brown, and I've got an egg and cheese McMuffin and a cheese and bacon flatbread now I'm going to look forward to tucking into these This one first. I'm going to go do two of them, I think. Um, I landed on this one. I think it's oh, it's pomegranate. Yeah. So. Oh, hey guys. As you can see, I've got my hairy t-shirt on again. Oh my god, it's all messy. And I've had a shave as well, which is nice as well, so it's going to be all nice and cool on my skin. Nice, you can just peel it off. It's almost like something you would drink, like a cocktail or something. Oh, pomegranate, passion flowers, and raspberries. I just the sin on the back. Very messy. Also, squeeze the last bit out. Squeeze. Oh. I'm trying not to do too near my hair because I don't want to whip my hair out. Hmm. That's nice. Oh. 
Oh, it's getting to my eyes a bit. Whew. I've got that one. Mm. So I'll come back in a moment after it's all set and I can peel it off. Yeah. Mm. Right, so I'm back now. It's set. It's been on longer than five minutes. I tried it after five minutes and it was still a bit sticky. But it's set now. I'm just trying to find a bit. Oh, here we go. I'm just going to... Some of it is set and some isn't. Oh God! Oh, here we go. We've got getting some of it off. Getting there. It's almost like it. There's something quite satisfying. I don't know about having a peel off face mask. It feels like you're peeling your skin off in a really weird kind of disturbing way. Mm. Yeah. I'm weird like that. Do you remember at school when you had like, was it PVA glue and you had it all stuck over your hands and then you peel it off your hands and it felt like you were peeling your skin off? Those were the days. I'm finding it really hard to take this one off. I don't know why. Oh, there we go. More easier, yeah. That's something out of a horror movie, isn't it? It's so refreshing, though. Especially when, like, obviously us men, we we have to we shave. Um. Right. Oh, I call that. So, um, I'm feeling um, a lot more myself now. I think I just, I was on a bit of a downer, just feeling a bit low. And um, I apologise if it looks like I'm not looking at the camera. I'm using my tripod and I've got my phone slanted so it looks like I'm looking that way. You know, when I'm really not. Um... Yeah, I was really on a downer and I just felt like giving up and just, it was just everything, you know, my <clears throat> stepfather getting on my tits, you know, messing the house up and um, just uh, everything, you know, changes at work and stuff and it was just, and then obviously I um, hurt myself um Um, and it just all like come at once, I think, really, you know, but, um, uh, but I'm definitely looking into counselling. Um, unfortunately I missed, I missed my assessment over the phone. I had, um, an assessment phone call over the phone at half ten yesterday, but I missed it because <clears throat> I just had a lot going on. I just, um. My dad weren't feeling well. Um, um, again, I was just feeling a bit low. I just wanted to just kind of shut off from everything, I think. Just shut off from the world for a little while and just have time to myself. And um, So I, I did miss my appointment. But I can, I can phone the... Um, The company again I can always rebook it you know so you know so it's yeah um yeah so unfortunately I yeah I missed my assessment yesterday um but like I said I can always rebook it and um and I'm looking into I'm not going to give up and I want to look into getting grief counselling and and that you know so um so I will do it yeah just getting 
bit around to it really. Mm. But I'm feeling a lot better in myself. I'm feeling a lot, you know, feeling better than I was. And, um, oh. And, uh, I've got my cup of char. Cup of Charlie. Yeah, but I'm feeling loads better today. I'm going to go for a walk today. Um, just to get out of the house a little bit. And, um, my, my ribs still hurt. I'm taking, um, tablets for it. I can never pronounce them. I, I prefer, I prefer, yeah, that, yeah, that one. I'm taking them for the pain and it eases it a bit. Um, well, I'm still finding little bits of uh, face mask. Um, so I'm going to, just to get out of the house, I'm just going to um, just go for a little walk around and uh, just to get out of the house for a little while and just sort of do me good, I think, you know. Just a little walk around and that and uh, yeah, so I'll bring a little video of um, of uh, me just walking around, you know, having a walk and that. Um, there isn't anything I really need to be honest because I um because last week, um, when was it? Last Saturday. I uh, went shopping and I got um, a big bag full of shopping. Um, I went to Poundland and and and, that, and other different places and I picked up a few things, but I left my bag at my friend Jody's house. So um, so when I go around there today, I'll pick it up and then obviously bring it home, and then um, so I can you know, go through what I bought, so there's nothing really I need today, oh, no. um, oh, I feel all refreshed and revitalised, yeah, I must admit, I didn't really like that one, it smells funny, it really, it's, it's got a funny smell to it, and it took about, it took about a month of Sundays to come off, it didn't peel all off, and I'm still finding bits now, Stuck to me. Mm. Right, the next one I'm going to use is this is tea tree, witch hazel, and Can Canadian willow herb. Tea tree, witch hazel, and Canadian willow herb. So she looks. Oh my god, it smells lovely. It smells like a... Mm, I can smell the tea tree and the witch hazel. Oh. The only way I can describe it, it smells like a light lime. You know, the smell. Oh, it's all green as well. Oh, it smells gorgeous. Gonna get it in my hair, aren't I? So, did anyone watch the uh, Eurovision? I saw it on Saturday when I went um, in the club, and everyone was watching it, and it looked it it looked quite good. It looked like we were gonna win, but um. I really liked our song actually by um was it Sam Ryder? I really did like our song. I really thought it was a good song. Um 
I had a funny feeling like Ukraine was going to win because obviously like with everything that's gone on, you know, with the war and everything and, you know, um, I wasn't overly crazy about their song. But, uh, but I think Sam Ryder, he did us proud, I think. Hmm. Hmm. I smell like cocktails. I feel like I should... Oh my god, this one's really like penetrating, really absorbing into the skin. It's like really like sort of like menthol, menthol, like, you know, like when you brush your teeth, like that minty flavour you get. I think it's like the tea tree and the witch hazel. I wonder what would happen if you put like two on at the same time. You put one on, then you put another one on. You try and peel it off, you'd be there all day trying to peel it off, wouldn't you, I guess? I'd like to um, say a massive thank you to everyone who commented on my last video about... Um, my video about just talking about mental health and um you know obviously what i went through um you know everyone was so supportive and um really caring you know and you know, like i always say you know and it's really true you're not just subscribers you're friends as well you really are and um <clears throat> wipe just wipe my hands um you you really care really genuinely care and i and i you know reading your messages you know i know how much my videos and me and as a person how much i mean to you guys you know and yeah so thank you so much thank you I really appreciate it. God, I can really feel like this, like, I don't want to say burning, but I feel like, uh, yeah. Oh, really like, yeah, that menthol, menthol feel. Let me... And so I'm back. I've got company as well. No, no. Right, so I think this is set. Some of it's still sticky. Some of it's set and some of it's not. Hmm.
You missed me, didn't ya? Yeah, you did. Hmm. Hmm. You're famous, you know. Mm. All my viewers, they love you. They do. Mm. Yeah, you're playing silly bugs over there, aren't you? Mm. Don't go for me, will you? Mm. <laughs> I've still got tons of shopping here that needs to unpack in. Shopping that I did today and shopping that I did last Saturday, yeah. So, got a couple of quite a few hauls to show you. Quite a few, there's quite a few, isn't there? Hmm? To show you, hmm. Yeah. So, I haven't long been home hmm. about half an hour, hmm. and somebody missed me. Didn't you? Yeah. Waited on, waited on my bed for, yeah, until I came home. Didn't you? Oh, did you miss me? Yeah, you did. which was the card and my friend her little boy is going to be four on the 25th of this month so that's his card I just thought I'd show you that and I quickly rushed into boots because there was some deodorant I wanted because I was going out and um, this was on Saturday uh, last Saturday and uh, just wanted some deodorant quick so i picked up some links and this is grapefruit tropical pineapple scent never i think this is a new one actually um and it really does smell really fresh it's it's lovely and really really nice so i picked that up and then i picked up charlie i've never bought this before actually and my friend Jodie was telling me about it, how really nice it is, and it does smell really nice. Charlie Red. So I picked that up. So not really a card factory and boots haul, but I just thought I'd show you. And uh, someone's fast asleep. So here is my little Poundland haul, guys. 
and um, some of the things have been open. We've um, already tucked into them um, some of the chocolates, and uh, there is one thing I can't show you. There's um, I bought a packet of Pringles, the red salted ones, but we ate those. So um, yeah. <clears throat> So I did buy a um, a packet of ready salted Pringles. Um, bought a packet of Whispers. As you can see, they're open. We started on those. Um, me and friends, and like you do. And two packets of double deckers. You get four in a pack. The Whispers, there's nine in a pack. Well, there was. And as you can see, one has been opened. Then I picked up some boxer shorts. They were, how much were they? Seven pound they were. The chocolates were a pound. And you get three pairs in there. Then I picked up this candle. Pen, pen, pony and patchouli. Yeah. Um... That was, I think, £3, I think. Was it £3? Yeah, from the Pep & Co section. Again, I did pick up three of these, Paul Scratchings, um, but I've had one. Um, and I picked up a Shaw Roll-On Deodorant, and it's just called Bright Bouquet. And then I picked up um, two of the peel off face masks with glitter. Um, I was going to do one with my friend Jodie, but she's had a um, a piercing in her top lip and she couldn't do it. So, um, so I'm going to save those. So two of those, they again were a pound. Uh, pork scratchings were a pound as well, by the way. Now, when I said it was a little Poundland haul, I kind of lied. It's not really little. Um, so, because this is the stuff, some of the stuff is what I bought last Saturday and some of the stuff is what I bought yesterday. Um, so, I picked up two of the Quantum Flushable Wipes. So, there's no problem with, like, once you've wiped... Um, round the bathroom you can chuck down the toilet flushable wipe they were I think were they a pound or 50p I can't remember I'll have to look on me um, my receipt they were pound fifty. the quantum wipes pound fifty. then I picked up this card it says Auntie, you're a star. Have a spectacular birthday. Um, it's my auntie's birthday, well, not until July, but um, I like to buy in advance. I like to, you know. And then I picked up this card, um, Sister, and this is going to be from my stepdad because he doesn't get out and about and um, he's not one for putting his hand in his pocket and buying cards and presents so on behalf of my stepdad this is for his sister so and it was only a pound so so it says sister you're one in a melon so they were both a pound then for the kitty cats I picked up two of the chicken chicken breasts that's all like all broken up and so I better chuck those in the um, fridge I think only Poundland only do, because um, everywhere else, as you guys know, I work at Tesco, so um, you can only buy two of these, that's the, the law, but in Poundland you can buy three, and these were three for a pound, so yeah, so picked pick three of those up, the paracetamols, um, I'm feeling better than I was, but I still have some pain in my my ribs so and uh, and 
whenever I get like obviously headaches or migraines I can you know got them to hand um some twelves there was five in a pack I did buy an oasis that was the fruit one the citrus fruit bought one of those some gourmet fine cuts I think they were 175 um, then I picked up some imperial leather um, hand soap and let's have a Gavia Blossom and Jungle Leaves and they've got all different, they've got raspberry wine and all different uh, scents. Then I picked up some Fairy Liquid, just a small one, that was a pound. Then as you guys know, Father's Day is coming up. So I picked this up for my stepdad. We don't do lovey-dovey cards um, on my dad's side of the family. Um, dad... You're a master farter, you're a king without a doubt, as people shriek, you raise a cheek and squeeze a stinker out. <laughs> and that was a pound, so, yeah. Um, last but not least, um, there should be four of these, but I ate two because I was hungry. Now, if anyone likes Lotus Biscuits, um, you'll love these. They're just like the chocolate um, dunkers, but um, these are so, so nice. They're really, really lovely. And they're 50p in Poundland. So, yeah, they're not a pound. They're 50p. So, I thought that was really, really good. So, yeah, check check it out. And, mm, they're really, really nice. Very nice. And 50p, that's really good. Um, <clears throat> at the end I will go through all the receipts and tell you how much everything was um, but mostly everything was a pound <laughs> and last but not least I picked up a money tin as well um, yeah, there's 50p in there at the moment <laughs> So yeah, saving up, saving up my pennies, and that was a pound. So here's the jumper I bought in Poundland, Pep and Co. It was ten pound. Zoom in, ten pound, and it's got the word reality written on it. So it's just a creamy white with um, with a blue in it. So yeah, that's my jumper. And this is the t-shirt I also bought in Pep and Co. Poundland. I, for the life of me, I can't make out what it says on there. It says time. Can you make out what that says? Something time. Anyway, so. And that was six pound. Next we have a very small shopping hall. Primark shopping I'm hall. Just gonna I'm just going to tell you what everything I bought and how much everything was. Okay, so now in front of me I've got a few things that I picked up in Primark. Only a, a couple of things. And I'm going to tell you how much they were and um, to show you what I bought. Um, so the first thing I picked up was a packet of uh, tissues. I always like to keep them by my side and keep them to hand. Oh, Wonder Woman, I Am Fierce. So yeah, I picked a packet of those up. Um, I'm not quite sure how much they were actually. So the chewing gum, which is bubble gum flavor, they were 90p. And then I picked up um, 
a it's revive refreshing and cleansing cream mask raspberry cranberry and blueberry that's to go in my um auntie's uh gift bag um it's her birthday well not until july but that's part of her birthday present then i picked up another face mask um and it just says P.S. Love the moment. Again, 80p. Both 80p. Pick that up. And then I picked these up for myself. Hydrating, revitalising eye patches for a pound. So you just sit them under your eyes. Just, yeah. I've never tried. I've tried foot masks, lip masks. Um, yeah, face masks. But never an eye one. So well, I'll give that a go. I'll try that. And then again, part of my auntie's present, um, again, 80p and some hand cream that it's a vanilla, vanilla scent. So yeah, pick that up to put in her little gift basket. And then I treated myself to a brand new pair of sunglasses. They were open, only £1.50, see? So new pair of sunglasses yeah mm, I like those they're very comfortable as well mm. Mm. I like those ones I like the blue ones um yeah that's my um no tell a lie no I bought um two candles a uh, romantic daydream and their rosebud and I did buy two of these, two fifty. I'm burning one at the moment, so and they they just smell really gorgeous. Um there was a big vanilla one I was gonna buy for five pounds and I really like these. I really love the pattern on them. They're just gorgeous. Yeah. You could use them as glasses afterwards, you know, just if you wanted to. So yeah, I got one of those. Uh, sorry, two of those. Sorry, two fifty each. Hmm. And last but not least, I bought myself a T-shirt as well, which was six pound. Yeah. And last but not least, I bought this top for six pound, also in Primark.
I was squeezing them out. So squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. I'm like, you know. And I thought, why isn't it not coming out, you know? And then I realised there was a perforation in them. Like, and this one comes off. So, and there's, I wasn't looking at it properly. And basically, you've got a pink and a blue one. So you're meant to do the pink up here and the blue down here, I think. Which I haven't done. Mm. Uh, which... Yeah, so I've put the pink one on. Mm. On with the blue. Or you do you have to do it separate? I don't know. I don't know. But I know that I'm covered in stars and... Yeah. It's not actually glitter glitter. It's not actually... It's just... Stars. Yeah, just... Mm. I feel like David Bowie. Like, but like David Bowie and Boy George. Mm. Well, it smells nice. You know what I'm starting to feel like now? There was a guy on Britain's Got a Talent a couple of years ago and I saw him live at one of the clubs I go to in Margate um, and for the life of me I cannot remember his name Something Beard Something Beard he was called Something, yeah, I can't remember his first name, but it was like a stage name, and he sung. Let's rub it all in. Fuck it, let's just go for it. It smells like coconut. He had like a glittery beard, didn't he? Do you remember? Oh God, it is everywhere. <laughs> So it's a Sunday afternoon and it's one twenty in the afternoon and I've just made myself a bowl of pasta and some feta cheese uh, pasta that's been um, in the fridge for a while which was all right and some feta cheese been in there for a while and I just broke it all up and then just yeah because I was hungry so yeah very nice mm. right so I just want to say a massive a great big thank you to everyone who took the time to watch the video thank you to all my friends on here 
Thank you again for all your love and support. Thank you so much for your nice messages. It truly does mean a lot. It truly, truly does. Honestly, I can't honestly thank you enough. Um, thank you ever so much for supporting not only my channel, but supporting me. Thank you, honestly. You're true, true friends. I'm slowly starting to feel myself again, perking up a little bit. Um... Yeah, I'm not too bad. I'm getting there. Yeah, so, all good. So, if you... Uh, I'm hoping you did like the video. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. Give it a massive thumbs up. And please drop me a message down below. And as you know, I read all of your messages. I read every single one. I take the time to read every message. As you can see, I've got my hairy t-shirt on again. Um... So, yeah, please drop me a message down below and I will read your message and I will reply back to your message. So enjoy the rest of the weekend and I will be back on here in a week. Take care, guys, and um, and have a good week. I mwah, love you all. See you later. See you later, guys. Bye.